Good morning and welcome Hi. to Integrity Cells and Services. This morning Dave and I are going to give you a nice video of our 2005 Freightliner Columbia. Dave is going to start up this big old Mercedes diesel. We're going to let you have a look at the blow-by. We're going to check out the engine compartment very thoroughly for you so that you can get a very, very good honest representation of what you're looking at here on this video. All right, let's walk up close. Dave's going to pull out the dipstick for us and we'll let you have a look at the engine oil. As you can see, we have the typical black diesel oil with no evidence of any milk or accumulation of antifreeze in the oil. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the blow-by. As you can see there, folks, there is absolutely no blow-by coming out of this big Mercedes diesel. I, it's a it's 786,000-mile truck, and I'm telling you, the proof is in the results there of what you just seen, that someone has obviously done fleet maintenance on these trucks, because to have 786 on the miles and no blow-by is a very good testimony for these Mercedes-Benz diesels. All right, let's walk up close here. We're going to start right here on the driver's front wheel. You can see we have polished wheels, chrome accessories, approximately 80 percent virgin rubber on Michelin steer tires and take a look folks check out how nice and clean this oil pan is on the engine underneath the front engine compartment I'm just telling you it all stacks up as a very nice well-maintained truck if you take a look at the engine horsepower tag right on the ECM, it's a factory 435 horsepower Mercedes diesel. With that, let's move on around and we'll give you a repeat of that on the passenger side. Okay, folks, let's zero in. You can see we have a duplication of the wheel setup, virgin match tires. Again, take a look at the underside of the engine compartment. It all stacks up just like the passenger driver's side. Now, take a look at this nice, clean radiator. I'm telling you, there is no evidence of any deterioration. And how about along this manifold on the exhaust system? Absolutely no sign of any leaks, no exhaust leaks showing up. It is very nice and clean. With that, Dave's going to lower the hood for us, and we're going to go ahead and continue with the video on the outside of the truck. Okay, folks, let's start right here on this passenger front corner of the truck. And as you can see, zeroing in here, this truck is loaded. It has the dual convex mirror fog lights, nice clear headlights. They're not all fogged up. We have a nice glass in the truck. I'm telling you, if you're looking for a nice fleet maintained truck, you'll want to jump on this one. Let's move on down the passenger side of the cab, and you can see it actually all looks very nice and clean. No evidence of any previous damage. Midland ran this truck in their fleet. We have two matching of them. They are both stacking up to be very nice, clean operational trucks. They have dual 100-gallon aluminum fuel tanks, very nice, clean frame rails. As you can see in the video, there is no evidence of any previous major rust or blistering on these trucks. If you look back toward the back of the cab, you can see we have a very nice, straight, upright exhaust system. Take a look, we have a very nice heavy-duty air ride suspension kit on the back of the sleeper. And folks, how about these matched Virgin drive tires? Take a look at them, you can see they got very nice tread on them. So let's spin on around and look forward. You can see the tread lines all match, and let's give you a nice look at the rims and the chrome accessories. They match all the way around the back as well. Okay, folks, with that, let's move on to the rear of the truck. And I'm going to back up so we can get the whole thing in the screen and slowly move from top to bottom to let you see she stands up straight and tall. We've had it through a current DOT inspection. All lights and everything are in working order. Let's come on around and let you have a repeat of the look on the wheels on this side. Come on up on, we have a nice aluminum battery box, dual 100-gallon fuel tanks. And again, you can see we have a repeat on the side of the cab, just as nice as we had on the passenger side. With that, Dave's going to open the door for us on the driver's side here, and we're going to get you a nice video of the interior. Okay, folks, coming up on the driver's door, you can see it just really stacks up nice and clean, just like the rest of the truck. For 786,000 miles, it's really amazingly clean. Take a look at the floor mat. No sign of holes or wearing through. Very nice, thick rubber tit still on the pedals. And, folks, here is a look at the transmission shift pattern. It's a 10-speed top two lightning with an automatic on the top hole. Makes for very nice driving especially when you're in the mountains. You don't have to worry about downshifting and upshifting all the time. With that, I'm going to pop one up, let you have a nice look at the driver's seat area. You can see it's in very nice condition, especially considering the miles. Again, take a look at how nice the dash area is. It's not all cracked and beat up. Someone did care about this truck, which is the reason it's going to make it a nice second life for you. Take a look at the nice storage cabinets. We have lower bunk, upper bunk, 
rear heat and AC controls. And with that, folks, I'm going to zip around and I'm going to put your focus right on the dash and I'm going to start this truck up and let you have a look at the engine oil pressure. So let's go ahead and let the gauges do their sweep and we'll fire it up. I'm going to hold the camera right here on the oil pressure gauge. You can see it do its sweep. And when she pops up here, you'll see that we're sitting here at an idle. There's the RPMs, about 600. And you'll see that she's sitting there at about 70 pounds of engine oil pressure. And if we go ahead and bring a little throttle into it, you will see that she'll jump right up there to approximately 80 pounds. And that's only sitting at about, let's get her up there to about 1,500, 1,600. We're sitting there at about 80, 90 pounds of engine oil pressure. Folks, with that, I'm going to come on over. Let me move the camera around slowly so I don't make you dizzy. As you can see, here's the evidence of all the gauges working. Let me zero right in on the odometer. We have 786, 175. And folks, there's the evidence of the alternator charging just fine, 14.1 volts. Folks, with that, I'm going to shut the engine off. And we're going to go ahead and wrap up this video by telling you thank you very much for shopping Integrity Cells and Services. Please give us a call with any questions at 260-238-5000 or visit us on our website at www.99trucks.com. And I'm going to have Dave say a few things here. Yeah, I sure appreciate you shopping with Integrity Cells. This will make you a nice truck. We've reconditioned it. We've greased it, uh, got it all ready to go, look for major oil leaks, and I uh, really appreciate you shopping with us. Check out our website at 99trucks.com. Thanks.